Hello, everybody. Sorry, you got the end of the garage door opening. Sorry about the treadmill thing. They ordered as well. And my messy garage. Uh, in the spring, some of this gets unpacked, but just figured I'd do a little uh, chat, if you will. Um, we got my bike there and some stuff, but yeah, my garage is messy between bottle returns and old toys or stuff that we, you know, we do live in a neighborhood with people and kids, so there's stuff in here like that. Um, but it's hard. You, my father's in sales for liquor and stuff. That's his job, and my mother works for the school. Well, as like a just like an office thing, but you know, so stuff accumulates in here. Is my point. Uh, my stuff's back here. Well, my dad's stuff's back here too. Mine's mostly in there. Down there needs to be organized. Um, riding more. But that needs to probably be, I didn't ever, well, I turned it on, I think, to make sure it was on, working, but I probably got to check on that again. If I haven't mentioned yet, I've, I make it my mission to always say don't buy Aeroflex heads because they're the worst trimmer heads you can possibly have. Anyone who wants to know why, let me know, and I'll do a further detail on why I hate them. Um, I gotta clean that down up, but I figured I'd just do this and, you know, walk around. So, uh, I know Vicky from Mark's Misfit World and Vicky's Outdoors was asking if, uh, snow, if I've started my cleanups yet, uh, in, on their lives, which go watch those. No, I have not, and here's why. <laughs> um, I have people who like to wait a little bit. Anyway, I don't have enough, I don't have, have anyone uh, calling, although I have been told people have called me, or, no, I shouldn't say they haven't been calling, they have called, um, well, I was walking home one day from a friend's house up the street, and she was like, pretty soon, pretty soon, I was like, yep, yeah. so, you know, soon that'll be done, and, uh, snowblower has been doing good, uh, I use these gas cans, which I'll do a more in-depth setup, I, I like these, I don't know, the old style metal cans that's what i've been doing so uh, gas is up though i don't know let me know in the comments if in your area gas has gone up here we're 389 a gallon for regular um in somewhere queensberry near me one of the cumberland farms there has it ten dollars a gallon for regular that's ridiculous i mean i don't know they must just have must have just been a then thing because that's the highest i've seen it but uh, gotta I mean, I have to check the blades on this thing because I had sharp. I sharpened them towards the end of the year, but um, I think I'll probably have to sharpen them up. Uh, selling my push mowers this year, I just don't really use them. I'm gonna keep. I have way too many because the neighbors would give me their dead one and I'd fix them up. And I got my this. I gotta. I think I'm gonna eventually replace this when I start using them more. To instead of a corded a battery, I use the Boyer stuff for battery because. Um, that's just what I find it's cheap and I don't use it very often so this is the I forget what impact it's a smaller one though uh, and it does everything I need it to do um, and if the blade is on there tight I have a breaker bar I'll just break it and then finish it with this so angle grinder which again helpful for the blades this is new I have an old angle grinder which I'm gonna sell uh, for like five dollars because it was only like 10 to begin with um so this angle grinder i just got haven't even used it yet as you can see but it's going to be the bat battery operated which is nice and i know you guys are like wow that loser's got boyer but you know what <laughs> it's a lot easier anything i don't use a lot i have a gas head trimmer attachment in in here which i was playing around with the shafts because here's the old shaft to it i gotta put this one back on that one didn't work right they're just so heavy for i barely do hedge trimming when i do i just use that for long reach anyway but the hedge trimming i do do a lot of the times it's just like little things that i just throw in like for example if there's a bush that's like making it harder for me to mow i'll just trim up that bush the kind of customers i have they don't care they're just like oh thank you so much you know and then you, they come out and they'll just give you a little bit for doing it so that's why i do that um there is i'm gonna try to land an overall big big job 
on that type stuff. Sorry, I'm gonna try to get this battery out here. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a, um, I'm gonna put you down for a minute. I apologize. So if you're wondering how this goes in, this is just a random video. It's, it's really just me saying hello. So I apologize, we're all over the place. There's no real topic here. I just figured uh, I'd give an update because I have some videos from the winter. Never got around to uploading. But uh, today I figured I'd just do a... I'm going to upload this today to just show you where I'm at. Uh, I've got some rakes. Uh, this is my Frankenstein rake. I have a metal one. This was my dad's he bought. I found this one on the side of my neighborhood road. I think a lawn service left it behind, which now I know why because I had to you know, fix it up. But... I was like, okay, well, maybe they forgot it. Maybe they'll come back for it tomorrow. It was laying on our HOA land because we got, like, we pay people to do that. And I was like, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. If they come back in a few days, otherwise we're going to take it. Well, I gave them a few days, and now uh, I decided to take it. And I took it and fixed it. And I'm going to lean you up somewhere and see how this Boyer hedge trimmer does. I don't know where I can lean you up, though. Uh... I didn't have my tripod. All right, we're going to lean you here and just hope for the best. I don't really know what camera view that is. I hopefully it'll get the point. It really moves slow. This isn't going to be ideal uh, for anyone. But for me, for me, this is more than ideal. Um, this doesn't even have the thing on it to check the meter, but, uh, let's see, I'm just going to cut something. Well, I don't know what you saw there, but that just cut that up a little bit, which there's a lot that needs to be, uh, trimmed in the future with some bigger stuff, but. There's that. I'll probably do a more in-depth on that, but yeah, so again, for Vicky at Mark Smith's Fit World, and she's got her Vicky's Outdoors channel, the snow is almost gone, but we haven't started anything yet. This needs to get cleaned out. Right now, I've just been playing around in my yard, because when the season gets going, there's no time for my yard, and like I said, my parents work, and they're very busy, so stuff gets left up to me is what I'm getting at with that. This is my mother's wonderful bird feeder. She loves the birds, but look at all of this. Yes, what you're looking at, all that white with the black, that's, uh, the black's a little bit of mulch, but all the white through here, actually right there's grass, but all this through here, that's the birds. All the way through here, all the way through here. I'm gonna have to do some serious raking, which I may do now, but that's just that. We bought the house secondhand when I was born, basically, because they figured out, you know, they were not going to live in an apartment anymore. And he had this shed built. That's the, well, I will go in there in a minute. But uh, what's cool about it, we got this little back here spot, and we let, lead this up here, but got all kinds of wood in here and stuff. And, and leaves. There's probably animals after animals living in there, because we don't really need any of that in there this is just stuff he left under here we'll use like stuff right there but i don't get my hands too deep in that <laughs> but uh yeah and this is the ravine that my house happens to where the last house besides that one over there which is one of my best customers so this is really nice because what i get to do with all this is i get to bring all kinds of debris back and dump it right here down this ravine which i'll get i'll show that in a minute but um yeah so hopefully this ice will be gone soon some of the piles out in the front, I end up every year, I shovel it into a wheelbarrow or into a, like a lawn cart, which is my trailer back there, which I'll get to in a minute. Oh. And I just kind of, Jesus, see, just kind of uh, dump the snow down the ravine because I get tired of looking at it. In here is, again, this is always really organized compared to anything else in the summer because all this patio type stuff gets moved out and I clean it up in here. There's some other things I gotta work on in here, um, like organizational things. Wanna get a few more hooks for shovels and stuff up in here. Um, 
just gotta get this cleared out we got a power washer back there toro recycler husqvarna it's my dad's more it's falling apart than this frankenstein more i had gotten a john deere push mower well that's right right there this is the second one i've had all the push mowers i've ever had have been given to me except this one i was got a really good deal 100 bucks it was brand new at the time that started my business however I wanted this little guy because it was great because it's this is like a 22 or whatever 21 22 and that's like a night that's a 19 so it's rather thin and it was nice because it could fit in the back of the lawn cart really easy and i'm going to keep that one and i think i may get like the turf master or time master but i'm going to sell all the other push mowers that are my property i'm going to let my, my dad's going to keep his husqvarna i'm going to get my turf uh, i think a turf master maybe a time master whatever one of the two check out both got plenty of dealerships near me so there's that in there, and uh, I'll show you back here real quick, and we'll wrap it up. So yeah, like I said, there's things I can be doing, but not quite uh, ready to go yet. I got a lot of sticks I can clean up. I'll just wait and drive the tractor around, pick stuff up. I tried doing a garden there last year. It didn't work out at all. I don't know why. What I was thinking, what I thought that was, why I thought that was going to work. Wood pile. Wood pile's a lot bigger. I got to get some more wood on the wood pile. Uh, I know I wasted those because... I want her to make a little thing. These things I'm going to use. Uh, they were my first racks on the cart. Um, when I learned how to insert a picture, I'd insert the picture. Um, however, that right there is what that's from. I'm going to use those to hang my edger up in the garage. Um, I was thinking about switching stuff out of the garage and into the shed. However, I kind of leaned away from that because of how cold it gets. Um, this is the long cart. You'll see more of it. That's my trimmer racks I got on Amazon. Just a one tier. If I got any more, it wouldn't handle the cart. That's the compost bin, which I do some stuff with. I made a lot of dirt this year doing that, or a couple years ago doing that. But I think now I'm going to do something my neighbor does call her, call her right here. Because you'll see kind of where I cleared it out. And then bees attacked me last year, and that was the end of that. This year, the bees should be dead, so we'll clean this up. Uh, and start a cardboard compost style thing that he was telling me about. We're going to experiment with that. Uh, over here, pile of crap. Over here's a little path into another wood pile-ish thing that was starting, but for the smaller wood. And you can see we just pull through and around. You can see where that path goes right through here. Um, so that's kind of that. Some more wood here I got to deal with. There is just some stuff we got to kind of clean up. Um, this is too. Th I know it's the woods, but this is kind of a very thin area. It's kind of like what I call my yard because like it's where I kind of run my business behind here with like debris so i try to keep it neat and organized and over here yes we got this little cleared out spot is where we dump i mean see if i can walk out here you can see like years and years of debris and crap down there so and then here's my neighbor's side which his stuff he never pushes down i always push mine down every year uh, and then we had trees fall down got some stuff going on over there too so yeah um that's pretty much it i just wanted to talk and so i was bored and it's kind of a random chat video and uh if you have any this is a good video or if you have any questions uh feel free to ask them and i'll uh, let you know in either another video or, or or in some way so if you have any questions or something that caught your eye while i was walking around my property not my property, my parents' property, but you're gonna, you're gonna, throughout the time you watch my channel for as long as I'm living here with my parents, um, which will be for at least another a while. I'm 15, I'm in ninth grade, so I got high school to get through and college and some other stuff, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, that's new this year, they did that. Used to just be like grass and dirt, um, so we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to see what I can do out of boredom with that thing. And um, we'll talk to you guys soon. The deer nets will be coming down soon. And uh, like I said, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and if you thumbs down, hopefully you have a good reason for it. I, I can think of a few reasons why to thumbs my videos down, uh, starting with the quality. So, um, like I said, comment things you thought you saw that were interesting you're wondering about and
I will love to get back to you in any way, shape, or form. And occasionally, I'm on Mark's Misfit Worlds Live, uh, which he does. Um, Thursdays are usually a better catch for me, or sometimes Sundays for an hour. But sometimes he gets packed in there because he's got a lot of friends and subscribers, so I don't jump up. But um, you may see me on there, and uh, they are. I, if you haven't seen them, go subscribe to them. Um, and subscribe here because we're trying to grow it. Um, but I don't do it for the subscribers. I just do it because I um, want to. I know I could show my face. I just don't ever feel the need to. So um, there you go. Um, bye for now and stay safe. Uh, whatever God you um, your religion has, I'm sure he's looking at, over you and the weird COVID times. So. Stay safe and have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, wherever you're watching this. Bye-bye.